All right, so this is the Pioneer AVH. I don't remember what all the numbers are. I'll pop them up on the screen. So this is playing just from the basic Pioneer interface. If I go home, you can see this is the main home screen here. And then if I hit Android Auto or if I push this button, it'll take me to Android Auto. So now this is Spotify in Android Auto. If I hit this button, it'll switch it back and forth. And this is just the interface here. So I like how much bigger the album artwork is here. Let me change the one that has a colorful there you go. So this one has a colorful album art, so you can see that a little better. And so you can see in this screen, you can do a lot. Like you can change it. Uh, you can play, pause it. Of course, uh, you can hit your phone. If you hit here, it doesn't do anything. If you hit here, it doesn't do anything. If you hit here, it goes to your EQ. And then you can change these around, of course. And then settings will take you just to your general settings. This is one way to view it. This is not Android. I mean, it's using Android Auto wirelessly from my Note. This is not the Android interface. Of course, this is just the Android Auto interface of the Pioneer itself. So you can see all these different options. I'll go over those in a different video. Right now, we're just looking at Android Auto. So if we switch here, it'll take you back to actual Spotify. And you can see I asked it to play stand for yourself. So you can see the search results. There's the, it'll show his individual albums or the artist itself. Uh, let me ask it to play. Play Jacob Campbell on Spotify. Okay, asking Spotify to play Jacob Campbell. <laughs> Google calls him Jakob Campbell. That was funny. See, the guidance volume is up to 20 and the regular volume is at 05. So I can turn those down independently. You can hit this one to turn the guidance down. Or if I hit here, that's the guidance. And I can turn the volume up here. Or the volume here will turn the volume up. Uh, of course, the steering wheel controls work as well. You can see here I'm on the steering wheel and the volume's going down. Or if I wanted to change the track on the other side, you can see the steering wheel controls are working just fine. And then again, if you hit this, it'll take you back to the other screen. So again, much larger artwork here, much larger identification. But I don't really like this background. You can change that from the settings of the device itself. Like if you go to settings and go to background, you can change it to just this, I guess. Or this. Or this. So now, well, I guess it still has the same kind of thing there, doesn't it? Yeah, that just uses the background here. Let me see if it does it now. No, it just stays on that same screen there. So I kind of wish that would just be black. Let me see if I can change that to no background. That's the closest to no background I can get. So then on the home screen, you can see it, you know, it's blurry on the camera because I'm in my Jeep, but like in real life, it's, I mean, it's a pretty clear screen. Yeah, it's just always going to have that back there. So I don't really like the looks of that. And you can change the background color in general. So if you change the theme, you know, I have it on black, but you can change it to like a green color. So now I have like a green look to it, which I don't like. Uh, but then if I go here to Android Auto and then here to there, I'll be of this green color. But uh, again, I don't like that personally. But you can change it to any color you want. I'm not any color, but whatever the themes here are, right? That changes the light for the illumination. There's a theme, background. Let me try this one, no background. And then go to theme, and I'll go back to black. And then illumination, I have it just kind of cycle through the colors. All right, so now we're back to this screen. So, you know, this is the Android Auto look. So Android Auto has now kind of make everything look the same. So this is Spotify, but if I can go to YouTube Music, or I can even just ask it, like if I put the button, play Jacob Campbell on YouTube Music. It calls him Jakob Campbell, which is funny. Playing Jakob Campbell on YouTube music. That little loud piece was because it was still playing at the guidance level. You know, you can turn them up. Yeah. Of course. And you get a, a similar number of options here, right? You got the thumbs up, shuffle, you can play it here, see your playlist, and then you can see your search results. So this is the various songs of Jacob Campbell. You know, this is his newest one, uh, top two's first. Uh, the artwork should pop in there. You can see these colors are changing. I don't know why it's not loading the artwork. It normally does. Yeah, I don't know why it's being weird. It normally does show the artwork. So let me go to the library playlist. Let's play a Sam to yourself. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it does show the artwork. You can see how kind of blurs in the background there. And then when you go to here, you know, it's just has that big color there. So that's Pandora from the radio. I'll make a separate video on that because it's kind of confusing. So let's just look at Android Auto. Uh, when you go home, you have all these apps. Anything that's installed in your phone will show up. So I don't really have a lot installed on my phone, at least music wise. Uh, so let's play a recent one. So let's just search. Play Jacob Campbell on Pandora. Okay, asking Pandora to play Jacob Campbell. It looks like you're not signed into the Pandora app yet. All right. Once you sign in, try asking again. I don't really use Pandora, so that's why. So I'll go to my phone and click on Pandora. All right, so now I'm signed in. Let's try again. Play Jacob Campbell on Pandora. 
Okay, asking Pandora to play Jakob Campbell. That's just my head kind of glowing in there. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't work when I asked for it, but let's play it here. Uh, I'm not paying for it yet, so I gotta listen to this stupid ad. So it looks exactly the same. It says Pandora up here, but you can tell it looks pretty much the same. You can click on it, and you can make it a repeat or a shuffle. Again, I'm not paying for the paid version of Pandora, so you can't really see the difference. So let's try Apple Music. I also don't have that installed. I don't like Apple Music. I tried it for a little bit, but it looks dumb on the phone. And I guess we'll install Tidal as well. And let's do Amazon Music. So then if you go here, you should be able to see the apps that are installed. So I wonder if that will work if I do Pandora here. So this will be... So yeah, so this Pandora option here is going to Pandora because there's a built-in Pandora app into the Pioneer. I don't want to mess with that right now. We'll, we'll do that later. I don't know why it's showing this song playing. That's interesting. So that was on YouTube Music. This is playing Pandora. So it's on Pandora. So let me pause that. And then when I go home and I click here, still showing Pandora. But that wasn't Pandora. That was YouTube Music playing this. You said subscribe to 5 after 12 on YouTube. So that's pretty good. All right. So, I mean, there's really not a lot to show here because... YouTube, I mean, they, there was a little bit of difference. Really, now the only thing I really know is difference if you're paying for these apps. Like, I pay for Spotify, and I pay for the full version of YouTube Music, a YouTube Premium. The only difference you're going to notice it really is the color at that point. You know, you're, you can access your... If you go back to... Let's go to Spotify. I do it all the time. So, if you go to Spotify, you can click back here. You can go home, and it will tell you some random stuff. Like, there's Hamilton. That's, like, a playlist I made myself. Uh, these are playlists I've made myself. And it has random suggestions. Like, uh, you know, you can see where it's just recommending things for you just like regular spotify website would be uh, you can go to your recently played you can see things i've listened to uh, that's just what i just asked for but i listen to jacob campbell and sam be yourself a lot playlist i've created you can just browse and that way you can just search for an artist by letter and all this i never really use any of this stuff i usually just go to my playlist but you can do more substantial version you want so i mean usually my standard workflow here if i don't ask it to tell something uh, i'll just go straight to android auto i go to spotify or youtube music i go to playlist and I go to one of my top songs here that I've been listening to recently, right? And then, you know, let's go back to play Sam Be Yourself on Spotify. Okay, asking Spotify to play Sam Be Yourself. All right, so you can see, you know, it's kind of how we go through it. And then you can go here and you can put a heart or, you know, whatnot, or put it on shuffle or repeat, whatnot. Yeah, there's not a lot to show here. I've been very happy. I use it wireless. This whole time we've been wireless. I mentioned my driveway, of course, but there's occasionally times where I'm driving around and, like, by construction that will cause the Wi-Fi to get wonky. But for the most part, it's pretty good. You know, it's really, I will plug it in. Like I said, I have this USB port here. The top one goes to Android Auto and the bottom one's just a charger that I have charging this uh, gimbal but like, if i'm on a long trip i will plug the phone in and that way it will just do the regular wired android auto as opposed to the wireless like you can see the little wireless icon up there i guess sort of and then that works pretty good if you have any questions about the radio just leave me a comment i do recommend checking out sam be yourself and jacob campbell jacob campbell they're both great they were on the rhythm and flow show on netflix and uh, i do have an interview up with uh, jacob campbell play jacob campbell on spotify they seem to want to call him jacob sure asking spotify to play jacob campbell yeah. So check those artists out. Let me know if you have any questions about the Pioneer itself or how Android Auto works on it. CarPlay works very similarly. I'm not you. My gimbal just died. All right, so there is Android Auto on the Pioneer. CarPlay works pretty similar. I might make a separate video on it, but as far as music apps on Android Auto, they all kind of look the same unless you go to the Pioneer display like I show here or if you want to go to the actual Android Auto interface. So there's the actual Android Auto. Play Sam Be Yourself Where I'm From. Where I'm From by Sam Be Yourself and Melton John. Sure, playing on YouTube Music. All right, and so there is, uh, you know, how it looks on the regular Spotify, or the regular YouTube Music on the Android Auto interface. And then there is the one from the Pioneer interface. All right, thanks for checking me out. Let me know if you have any questions about the head unit itself or uh, how Android Auto works on it.